What's up, beautiful people? Thank you so much for clicking on my channel and clicking on this video specifically. As you can see by the title, I'll be talking to you guys, well, showing you guys my entire AMCAS application. It has been asked for for a while now, and um, I did get a lot of suggestions for this video as well. So, guys, here it is. I'm just going to get right into this video so I don't waste too much time. But Oh yeah, by the way, my name is Dominique Galloway. I am an incoming medical student, an online coach, and a NASM certified personal trainer. So if you're interested in any of those areas, please subscribe to my channel as well and turn on post notifications to stay up to date for all my future videos. Let's get into this video now. Okay, so first things first, I will tell you guys at the top, you can see submission date. I submitted on June 19th, 2020, and then it was completely pro completely processed on July 23rd, 2020. So it did take a little over a month. Here I did take away some of the personal things. Um, you know, obviously I don't want that to be all over the internet, but yeah, I do have uh, my name here. I did grow up in Nassau County, um, New York, birth date, no, dep no dependents. I am black, African-American and no military service. So they do ask you also what languages you speak. So, um, I am a native English speaker. I grew up in New York and my household spoke English and um, I wrote that down. I'm a native speaker. I also am pretty advanced in Spanish. I am. A Sp I was a Spanish major. I did live in Argentina and Spain um, for up to almost a year, 10 months. And I was definitely able to, you know, learn so much while living there because I spoke the language every day. I lived with native families there. So I definitely did say I was proficient in the language of Spanish as well. All right, so now it also asks about childhood information. Um, like I said, I grew up in Nassau County, New York, um, in the US. It was in a suburban area, um, underserved. I grew up in a household of three, my mother, my brother, and me. Um, and I didn't have to assist at all though um, and contribute to the family finances. So um, I, I didn't say that. I also did have you know a job before I was 18, but I did not have to contribute financially. Um, so when I asked, are you disadvantaged? Uh, I didn't say I was disadvantaged. Of course, if you feel like you are disadvantaged, I would say definitely, um, you know, say yes to that and tell your story because that definitely is important to share your story um, and just explain you know, the, ch the challenges and obstacles you had to overcome to get to this point um, because that's amazing, you know? Okay, so they also ask you about your parents or guardians. Uh, so my mother, um, she's on here, Lillian Galloway, and she is a school psychologist and she has her PhD. My father passed a little over a year ago, um, or almost two years now actually, and he was a physician, he was a pediatrician. All right. They also ask about your socioeconomic disadvantage if you are socioeconomically disadvantaged, if you're first generation, I said no. I have a brother that's 26 years old, Christopher. Um, they ask about if you previously applied or previously matriculated, um, ask about any misdemeanors, felonies, um, military discharges, all that. All right, so now it's time to get into what I'm sure you guys, um, you know, clicked on this video for, which is my most of my stats. I did say part of my stats before, but this is really detailed now. It shows all of my grades for every single course that I took in undergrad. So let's get right into it. Um, I did. I do want to say I actually was. Um, I did take a couple AP classes while I was in high school, so I did have about 16 credits coming into college, which was definitely helpful because I didn't have to um, worry about those classes in college because I, I know for the pre-med track, we actually do have to take two math classes, I believe, but I did take AP Calculus 1 and 2 in high school, so I didn't have to take any math in college. Um, which is actually awesome. Um, I haven't taken math in a while though, so, but yeah, that was great. I also took AP, what, AP Spanish and AP US History. So I 
just have P's for all that because for AP credits, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have an actual letter grade, so it's just a pass or fail. So yeah, 16 credits I came into college with. So now let's get into my first semester of college. So I started out with um, general chemistry one and the lab and then some other general classes I had to take. But for general chemistry one, I remember this, I think it was yesterday. Wow, <laughs> that was just such a hard class. I'm telling you right now, I just, it wasn't even like, it was just me coming right into college and I was so used to um, high school, just not really having to try hard, to be honest. And I always got A's, didn't have to try hard, um, barely studied and it was just a big jump going from that to this class. So I definitely was, you know, shocked <laughs> because it just didn't come as easy and I realized that and it was definitely a challenging class and I had to work a lot harder. Um, I had to recognize how to study, um, figure out a study routine for myself. And I'm glad I only started out with one science class so I could kind of figure this out my first semester, actually my first year of college. Um, so yeah, I did get that B minus in general chemistry one and I got the B as well. And then I also took all of these other general classes for my college. So I took first year of seminar, ju let justice roll, um, intro to health sciences, American politics. I got a B plus in that. Um, I was actually really annoyed by that because it was only because I was, I think late it was an ADM class, and I think it was because I was late four times, and I ended up getting a B plus instead of an A minus. But you know, whatever. <laughs> Let's get into the next. I took psych as well. Oh, so that's part of pre med as well. I got an A in that class, and I took convo. So convo is I go. I went to Pepperdine University, and it's a Christian school, so we actually have to take convo each semester. Um, and it's it's not really a specific class. It's more like chapel or service every Wednesday morning and you just have to go, I think 14 times throughout the semester and you get an A, so yeah, I got that. And then my second semester, guys. All right, so general chemistry two <laughs> and lab. So you would have thought maybe I got a little better. Um, I did get a B though in the lecture instead of a B minus. So that was a little better. I definitely feel like I did improve and just finding out how to study. Um, so honestly, I was pretty happy with that. Um, so I also took English, got an A minus, Western culture, B, history and religion, B, Spanish one, A, convo A, public speaking, and I think, yeah, public speaking I took in the summer. So I took right after my freshman year, I got an A in that. So this is my sophomore year now, starting right here. Okay, so I did go abroad, like I said, to Argentina um, for my entire sophomore year. So this is where I took all those courses and I was just so extremely happy that my first semester abroad, we ended up having our, um, our leader, our abroad leader or director, not really a director, but our leader <laughs> was actually the bio professor for my school. So she came to Argentina as well and I was so happy that I was able to take an upper division bio class while I was there because I didn't want to like seem like I wasn't taking any science for an entire year like I just I didn't know how that would look um, you know to the admissions committees like an entire year off but thank God <laughs> my bio professor um, for the school came for that first semester abroad so I was able to take immunohistology and lab and I got a B plus in that so yeah, then I also took the other general classes and I took all my, a lot of my Spanish courses abroad as well because that was amazing that I was a Spanish major so I was able to take a lot of my major classes abroad. So communication, Western culture, second year Spanish two, convo again, um, music, I think this is second semester now, yeah, music, culture, yoga, that was awesome. That really like, you know, started my journey in yoga and it was just fun. Um, so Christianity and culture, Spanish again. This is another Spanish class. This is another Spanish class. Oh, this is the summer actually. So I went to Spain guys right after Argentina for two months and I took these two classes. So history and culture of Spain and Spanish text. I got A's pretty much, yeah, all this time. Um, so yeah, that was that. Then I went back to the Malibu campus um, 
So this is my junior year right here. And so I took Organic Chemistry 1 in the lab. I honestly loved Organic Chemistry 1. This is where I finally proved to myself that yes, I can handle these courses for sure. I, I'm pretty sure I was maybe the top of the class. I definitely knew I had like the highest grade um, in a lot of the um, tests. So I just felt so accomplished finally. I just felt like I was finally understanding um, chemistry and I ended up becoming the TA for that for, for organic chemistry lab actually for the next semester after that. Um, so that was awesome. And yeah, I also took junior writing portfolio. It was, it's just a basic class. It's not really even a class to be honest. It was just taking our um, different writing prompts that we had throughout our college experience so far and just putting it all together in a portfolio um, for our school. So yeah, that was a pass or fail class. Then I also took General Physics 1 and Lab for my first semester of junior year, Spanish and Convo. So I ended up doing really well in physics as well, got an A, and I felt so great. Like, I was on the Dean's list, I was like, yes, I'm feeling so good about myself. But <laughs> yeah, so this is where I honestly felt so great, junior year, first semester. Um, so now, second semester of junior year. I took bio, cell bio, same professor as um, the one in Argentina, but yeah, she's amazing. So I got an A minus in bio, then I also took physics two, I got an A minus. I also took soc and I got an A, grammar for Spanish, um, and convo. All right, and now my first semester of senior year, I took biochem in a lab, I got an A minus and an A. Um, religion, Spanish, Spanish, and Convo. So I ended out with a lot of A's, A minuses. Um, so I definitely had an upper trend. I got V's in the beginning of college, um, mostly A's, but definitely had some B's that brought down my GPA. And I feel like near the end of college, I definitely had a lot of A's and A minuses. So yeah, that's what my entire GPA, not my GPA, that's what my entire course load looked like. Um, those are all my grades and I was a Hispanic studies major, no minor. So yes, here comes my GPA now. So I started out on, you know, pretty low GPA. This is a science GPA right here. So pretty low, 2.85, 3.30, 3.81, 3.78. So it did have an upward trend for sure. Um, and my cumulative BCPM GPA was a 3.50. So my AO um, started out with a 3.60, 3.87, 3.94, 3.71, so I guess it did go down a bit. <laughs> but then I had a 3.79 cumulative, and then my entire GPA altogether was a 3.71 ending out. And it kind of was, it kind of came up and a little down, I guess. But yeah, that's how my GPA ended out. And I was definitely very happy about that. All right, so now the MCAT. So I did tell you guys, I broke it down already in another video, but here it is actually on paper. So yes, I did get a 500. I took it on January 17th, 2020, got a 500, 127 in chemical and physical foundations, 121 in cars, 126 in bio, biochemical foundations, and 126 in psychological, social, and biological foundations of behavior. So yes. All right guys, so next I have all of my activities, my experiences. Um, I really feel like it's just best to just kind of go, you know, scroll through them so you guys can see everything that I wrote. Um, I feel like it's pointless for me to read everything off um, the paper because I feel like that will take a while. So I'm just going to scroll through this and you guys can pause or, um, you know, pause, look at it if you guys want to see exactly what I wrote. But here it is. I did have a internship in a clinical setting here. Online coach. Summer camp counselor. AKA. Organic Chemistry TA, Hunger and Homelessness Coordinator, Conan Foundation Volunteer, that was in Argentina, um, going abroad to Argentina and Spain. I was a volunteer at a hospital, a local hospital by me. Um, I was a volunteer on a missions trip 
twice. This is shadowing. This is being the vice president of the Women's Club Lacrosse team. Um, college Connection Leader is like a mentorship program. National Youth Leadership Forum, um, just a program I, I participated in for people interested in careers in medicine. And then my Nicaragua mission trip. So those are my experiences, guys. Definitely take a look at them if you guys want to. And I did also give you guys my entire personal statement, but I will let you guys see it again right here. Um, read through it if you'd like as well. All right, right here, you can see that I did have a committee letter sent out from my school, Pepperdine University, and then also another um, letter recommendation from a doctor that I was able to intern with. And sent out to 27 schools, um, regular MD programs. <clears throat> so yeah, that is it guys. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys got something out of that video um, because I knew a lot of people definitely wanted to see that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up um, and turn on the post notifications once again because I will be giving you guys weekly content every Saturday, you guys. Stay tuned also for all the vlogs I will be doing for medical school. I will have a orientation vlog, a first week of classes vlog, um, white coat ceremony, all that. So just stay tuned for all of that. And thank you guys again for watching.